Hello friends. A couple of weeks ago I had several artists ask me for a video on commissions and so here we are. I want to talk not just about taking commissions as part of your business but taking them in a way that feels good for you as the artist and takes as much stress out of the process as possible. But first, I want to say thank you for being with me here today. If you like this video and think you might like to work with me personally to create consistent income in your art business, there's a link in the description below to apply for my Palette to Profit program. I'd love to chat with you and see if it's a good fit. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Jennifer Daly and I'm a fine artist who makes over $100,000 a year just from my art. I'm also incredibly passionate about empowering other women to reach their own art business goals and have helped dozens of artists get focused and find success. Okay, so let's talk about why you would even want to do commissions in the first place. What I personally love about commissions from a business perspective is that they are guaranteed money up front. If you have your contract set up correctly, you'll take a deposit up front and the rest upon completion of the painting. I also charge more for commissions than for a painting available on my website. So financially, they can be an important part of your business. I also like to offer commissions because people often want or need a painting in a custom size or colorway to fit their space. And offering commissions allows you to meet these clients' needs when they might otherwise not be able to make a standard size painting work for them. But the problem when you are just getting started offering commissions is that they can be really stressful. Making something with someone else's specifications in mind often takes some of the fun out of the artistic process, especially if you're making work outside of your usual style. So let me share with you three things I implemented in my own commission process to make it more enjoyable for me. First, I never take on a project outside of my own style. I paint calm, layered, abstract paintings. So if someone wants to commission me for a landscape or a portrait or even just something in a color palette that I wouldn't normally use, I just say no. If someone sends me a picture of another artist's work and asks if I can make something similar, I just say no to that too. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been asked to paint something totally random. I was once asked to paint a portrait of a couple in front of a mountain range and that was a really easy no for me. They would have not been happy <laughs> with that. Okay, so the second thing you need to do is figure out what it is about commissions that you don't like and see if there's anything you can do to change it to make it more enjoyable for you. For me, when I was just getting started painting commissions, I felt a lot of pressure to get the painting exactly the way I thought my client wanted it. I didn't trust my own artistic judgment. I found myself second guessing my own choices and then ending up with a painting I wasn't entirely confident in. There was just too much pressure on the results when my process is really organic and intuitive. So I took off that pressure by creating two paintings for every commission. Often I would do one more in line with what I thought the client wanted and the other I would do in the same color palette but I just let it evolve naturally. And then I'd let the client pick between the two. It worked out really well and I did that for several years until I felt more comfortable with my process. These days, I still create two paintings to choose from about half the time for my commissions. It's just what works well for me. The third thing you need to do to make the commission process more enjoyable is to have a contract that outlines exactly what you are providing for your client, the payment schedule, and most importantly, how many times you are willing to make changes for the client. I find that defining all these things very clearly up front uh, leads to very few problems down the line. All right, that's it for today. To review, in order to make the commission process more enjoyable, you need to say no to projects outside of your style, figure out what you don't like about the process and fix it. In my case, that meant painting in pairs and then make sure you have a contract that clearly defines your responsibilities and expectations then you'll be on your way to growing a lucrative part of your business that you also enjoy. 
If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Doing so really helps the YouTube algorithm show this information to more artists like you. And finally, if you'd like to know the most common mistakes I see new artists make in their businesses, watch this video next. Thanks and have a great day.